dear all i would like to welcome you all in the question paper discussion of the subject waste management uh, to, today i'm going to discuss about the third part of the session and uh, kindly refer the previous video and the link is available in the description box as well as i button so in, today i'm going to discuss directly from question number 4b i request you to read the question first describe the environmental effects of inadequate and improper waste management you need to explain about the environmental effect due to uh, mismanagement of the waste it carries the weightage of 10 marks how to answer this let me point out what are the things you need to focus okay all of you can see the slide very clearly uh, the environmental effect due to mismanagement of waste are as follows air pollution water and land pollution, visual pollution, noise pollution, odor pollution, ultimately expulsion hazardous. These are the major impact, environmental impact. You have to explain individually. If I talk about the air pollution, uh, it is mainly due to the combustion, open combustion. Uh, you have to explain about the gaseous as well as particulate matter. Uh, also, you have to talk about uh, land as well as degradation of fresh water uh, because of uh, what I can say due to pollu uh, due to mismanagement of the waste. Then visual pollution. As you can see the nearby the area, the aesthetic beauty of the land is spoiling because of the mismanagement of the waste. It is very clear. So whenever you are traveling, you might have seen the roadsides. If plenty of waste are dispose disposing over the, we lose the aesthetic sense. Correct. Yeah. So that the tourists, those who are wish to visit the places in your area, they will automatically withdraw. Correct. You are discouraging because of mismanagement of the waste. When it comes to the noise, noise pollution, nowadays due to uh, the nearby waste transfer unit, you cannot survive over the due to excess of uh, noise pollution because of cutting, drilling, all the operation will be done at the transfer station. If I talk about the order pollution, uh, of course, and of course, we can see the if the waste is managed properly nearby, we cannot bother because of the bad order. Similarly, explosion of hazardous, especially same burning, okay, like a potassium nitrate or any any other like anaerobic decomposition. Sometimes there is a explosion that is happening in the premises of the mismanagement of the waste. Okay, these are the major environmental effect. You have to explain in brief because. Uh, maximum 5 points, 5 into 2 is equal to 10 marks. All right. Uh, moving further, now I am going to move on. Question number 5A. Explain the various collection components that influences the waste collection system. It carries the weightage of 10 marks. How to answer this? Yes. As you can observe, the checklist of waste collection components are, first one is collection points, collection frequency, storage containers, collection queue, collection route, and the transfer station. These are the major collection components. I request you to write one or two sentences about these points so that you can maintain one and a half to two pages. Fine. So for example, how do you answer? I will let you know. Uh, if I talk about the collection points, so first of all, you have to talk about collection points nearby the waste generation unit that is called a collection points nearby waste generation area like residential it may be commercial or it may be industrial uh, the next is collection frequency how often the people are uh, the crew the crew members are visiting to the particular place to take back the or to pick up that particular waste unit or to pick up the waste that is generally called a collection frequency depends on the uh, the community or income group collectively call it as demographic parameters or demographic factors next is storage containers based on the size based on the area all those things you have to mention fine uh, next you need to mention about the collection crew those who are leading the particular van or particular truck we call it as a collection crew the staff member those who associated with the collection and uh, loading unloading or all they all, all comes under collection crew group of stakeholders the especially staff members we call it as collection crew collection route is very important where to go first so it's just like a transportation problem so where the where the yeah, high amount of waste is there uh, the uh, suppose uh, crew members should go first based on the transportation pro problem you can define based on the operation research transfer station uh, like a, a transfer station lies between 
the collection point and the dispersal area for the segregation. It is mainly for the segregation and uh, easiness of uh, disposal. It is actually an intermediary station. It is mainly used for the separation, segregation, etc. So these are the major thing you need to take care while defining the uh, while uh, selecting or while uh, designing a waste collection system. You have to take care about efficiency, effectiveness, equity, reliability, ulti and ultimately safe and environmental concerns. Okay, these are the things you need to include in the answer book. Now I would like to move on. Very very important question you can expect in the forthcoming uh, examination as well. Uh, question number 5b, what is the transfer station? Explain the type based on its size. Very, very important question. I request you to focus most, mostly uh, typically for this particular question. Let me explain how to answer this. What is the meaning of transfer station? Yes, transfer station is a centralized facility which lies between uh, the waste generation as well as uh, the disposal area. It is an intermediary, okay, where uh, people, uh, where uh, the separation, removal of the hazardous waste, all the process will be taken place in this intermediary uh, station. Uh, it depends on the type of waste and waste storage area and the type of vehicle used. These are called a transfer station. You can see the images of a transfer station. Uh, it, uh, see, uh, if we talk about transfer station, you have to take care about total amount of waste received, what are the procedures they are inculcating or they are following, the capacity you have to take care, what type of vehicle facility you are using, those factors, also topographic area also should be considered. Next, you need to explain about the types of transfer station. Uh, what is transfer station means you will be getting three marks. What are the types of transfer station you are able to uh, get another seven marks. Three plus seven is nothing but ten marks. Small to medium transfer station based on the size. Then large transfer station. Large transfer station is subdivided into direct discharge or non-compaction station, platform pit non-compaction station, as well as compaction station. So you need to explain a uh, brief uh, information about small to medium transfer station capacity or to explain uh, the way of the uh, waste you will be collecting. Those factors you have to explain. If I talk about the large transfer station, you need to explain about uh, the type of vehicle used, what type of weighing or what type of uh, parameters you will be considering. Uh, if I talk about the direct discharge, why we are using the direct discharge type, the physical parameters you have to explain in brief. Pause the video and you can note down the important points. Similarly, importance of large transfer station you have to explain what kind of vehicle they are employing and what about the area or floor, floor space which is available in that particular transfer station. Uh, what, what, what about the waste handling methodology? What kind of separation they are using? Those factors you have to explain in brief. Similarly, compaction transfer station. Uh, is it an indoor or outdoor? You can directly observe whether it is an indoor or uh, outdoor. Uh, it is actually mainly working based on the hydraulical powered compactor. Okay, there is a uh, uh, because the capacity, the size will be very much high. Okay. So those points you have to mention. Similarly, capacity of transfer station, that also you have to elaborate. Fine. Okay, these are the important points you need to explain about what the question, what is transfer station and types of transfer station. I hope you understood how to answer it. Uh, maximum for 10 marks, you need to maintain uh, one and a half to two pages, minimum. Okay, so try to underline the important points. Let me know if you are having any queries. The remaining question will be discussed in the next session. Uh, thank you for watching this video. Happy learning.